Uh, Coach, thank you for joining us on the call today. If you'd uh, just give us the, the state of your team as you kind of uh, get back into the swing of things with a game against uh, against Maryland on Saturday, please. Well, we're just excited to play again. I don't know the state of our team very well other than how we're practicing uh, because of unfortunate circumstances, but our guys are excited to play. Um, we certainly uh, put their safety at the forefront of all the decisions that were made, and uh, the kids are upset that they had to miss some time, but are, they're looking forward to playing again. Take questions for Coach Frost, please. Star 1 on your telephone keypad to join the queue, then the operator will introduce you. And we'll go to Dan Tortora, wakeupcalldt.com. Good afternoon, Coach. How are you? Good. How you doing? Good. Uh, when you said, you know, obviously uh, not knowing a lot about the state of the team except for practice, you know, you've been hungry, the team's been hungry to get out there and go up with somebody. Just what you can say you try to do to, you know, keep their focus and, and keep everybody, you know, thinking positive. This was obviously a big issue and it affected a lot of things. So just what you can say you tried to do to keep the team's focus and how they responded to it. I think they've responded well. We had a really good Monday practice today. Um, we had quite a few days off in a row, uh, which means we're fresh. Uh, we came back last Thursday and Friday and had two really hard practices to try to knock the rust off and, and get them back into a little bit of playing condition. Uh, then we took the weekend off and game planned, and uh, we're trying to get back on a regular schedule here with a regular Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday practice. Um, I think we have a more mature team this year, uh, some guys that are hungrier this year, and uh, we were throwing kind of a curveball with a hurricane cancellation last year, and a game got moved, and uh, I think we'll handle it a lot better this season, and, and the guys seem to be responding well to what we're asking them to do. And what can you say as far as the, the Georgia Tech game? Because I know that Paul Johnson said that they had potentially offered to have it there instead and and things just didn't work out just what you can say about trying to figure out the schedule and and you know trying to adjust and then ultimately deciding not to play it in in Atlanta yeah playing in Atlanta would have made it worse and uh, that was not a solution um you know I, I've been over this a bunch of times but um we were ready to play in Memphis I don't think the decision not to play on that Friday night was made here in fact I think our people did a great job of having the foresight to move the game to Friday. Um, the storm didn't hit here until late in the night, Sunday night. Um, I think that game would have been fine. Uh, so we were disappointed about that. Um, as the head coach and, and the administrators here, once we told the players it was too dangerous to play on Friday night, uh, it became really hard to ask them to stay on campus and practice. Um, at that point, we made a decision to allow the kids to do whatever was best for them from a safety standpoint as the largest hurricane in Atlantic Ocean history was bearing down on us, not knowing where it was going to hit. A lot of parents wanted their kids home. A lot of kids wanted to be home with mom and little brothers and sisters. Uh, so we released the team on Friday morning. Um, about 40% or more of our team, almost half of our team, went home to be with family or some got out of Florida altogether. Um, and at that point, it was a matter of getting them all back on campus. Um, Obviously, the National Guard was using our stadium, but uh, playing somewhere else wouldn't have been a, a a problem for us. It was just a matter of getting our team back in time to practice to get ready for a Saturday game. Uh, we didn't have our entire team back until the next Thursday or Friday. Um, that would have give us one, given us one practice to try to play a game, and there's no team in America that does that. Uh, moving the game to Atlanta, and, and I said this, it, any coach knows this, moving to a game to Atlanta would have just hurt us even more because it would have taken another another day off our plate having to travel. Uh, so that wasn't even a, a feasible solution to the problem. Um, once we made the decision to release the team for their safety and let them do the best, uh, the next game was in jeopardy. Thanks, Coach, for your time, and it's good to hear that you and the team are doing well. Thank you. We'll go next to Don Marcus, Baltimore Sun. Can you talk about the development of uh, of uh, Mackenzie um, since the end, of, since the beginning of last season when he made his first start at, at against Maryland, and also, it, do you think he'll use that game, the end of that game, as any kind of motivation coming up to College Park? Uh, I don't think he needs that for motivation. Um, 
but he he's going to play a lot better. Uh, I have no doubt of that. Uh, we went back and have watched that game several times, and uh, I think as a team we did enough things to to win the game. Um, we made too many mistakes. Uh, a couple drives that were stopped by fumbles on exchanges, uh, a couple dumb decisions and and throws. Um, it was his first game as a starter, and there were too many mistakes, too many turnovers, and we didn't capitalize on a lot of scoring chances. Um, I, I think it's and he, he's kind of an example of both teams that are going to be playing Saturday. I, I think both teams were learning and growing last year. We were starting a quarterback for the first time last year that had some learning and growing to do, uh, and I think at this point both teams are a lot better placed than they were uh, when the two teams met last year. So I, I expect improvement improved play from McKenzie, but I, I think everybody around him and on the other team, on Maryland's team, um, are going to play better too. So I expect a great game. Thank you. We'll go next to Trace Trolko, Nightline. Hey, Coach. Uh, following the FIU win, you started game planning for Memphis, and then you had to shift gears and game plan for Georgia Tech, and then you shift gears again. Talk about the challenge of preparing for three different teams and not having played a game at in that many weeks. Well, we've gotten a lot of practice in, and we have a couple uh, game plans on ice that we haven't really used. Uh, but the co- for the coaches, it was easy. Uh, we've had a lot of days in the office, a lot of days to prepare, a lot of days to come up with ideas. Um, I think that the bigger challenge is making sure that our, our players are dialed in, uh, in a good place physically and mentally to go out and compete. Um, that would have been really hard this past week and, and probably impossible. Um, going forward now it's just a matter of getting us back on a, on the right schedule and, and making sure that they're good to play and I think we're taking steps to get there. Thanks coach. Coach thank you for your time today. I look forward to, oh, actually we do have one more question if we just get to that real quick and then we'll let you go coach. Certainly we'll go to Don Marcus Baltimore Sun. Uh, yes coach just to follow up on Maryland what do you see in terms of their development and especially on the offensive and defensive lines from from last year I think that uh, you're watching their defense I, I think their pass rush has improved a lot uh over the course of the year I think their depth has improved a lot um obviously they're running the ball a lot better and have ran the ball um well in two games so offensive line is is doing really good things. Uh, both quarterbacks that have played this year for Maryland have, have done a good job of managing the offense, making plays with their legs and their arm. Um, you know, it's year two for them, just like it's year two for us, and I think they've made a lot of improvements. Um, team speed is also uh, obviously better uh, from a year ago, um, I think, again, on both sides. So um, I, I really respect uh, respect that program and, and the job that Coach is doing. Um they're kind of on the same track that we are. Uh, he took over a program, and I think they made a lot of headway in, in the first year, and you can see even more improvement in year two. Thank you. Thank you for your time today, Coach. We look forward to hearing from you again next Monday. You got it.